I'm certainly uh, on the side of incremental reforms, and this for two main reasons. Uh, first of all, uh, the Madisonian uh, uh, institutions that organize the Brazilian political system uh, certainly function against the strongman. Uh, Bolsonaro uh, made much less damage than we expected. Uh, first of all, because this same uh, multi-party system that created the malaise of the, the political system in the first moment uh, was very helpful to contain him in the second moment. Uh, also, uh, the Supreme Court played an enormous role in containing uh, Bolsonaro. In fact, what we have here was much more a case of infralegal uh, authoritarianism because he was not able to approve an amendment or a major law to bend Brazilian democracy. So he abused of his administrative prerogatives. So in one sense, uh, the very consensual constitutional system that Brazil has was uh, 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 sufficient to contain larger damages. So this is one reason we have to uh, uh, ameliorate the system, we have to reform it, but it functions against a very uh, uh, undemocratic and hostile uh, to constitution. The second is a more philosophical question of our times. Is it possible to open a constitutional assembly in a moment to, to make a, a great reform? I don't think so. The costs are immense, mostly in a very polarized environment. I think what we saw, what we are seeing in Chile, or what we saw in Europe uh, in the beginning of the 20, 21st century, shows that it's much more difficult to do a larger, uh, profound reform in these constitutional structures uh, in the 21st century than it was in the 19th century, where you put 60 farmers, white people, to discuss their differences. Now it's much harder. So I think we should really re-emphasize uh, a notion of constitutional resilience being uh, being very uh, tough and, and uh, in terms of protecting the core structures of democracy and being much more flexible in terms of reforming the policies so this, I think, is how we should move in the 21st century, being uh, bound uh, to the basic structures of democracy and being flexible in terms of changing new strategies for policies to deal with your sense of, uh, uh, um, of discontentment. So here is where we produce the change.